Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Terabyte Reacts. Today, I have something a little different for you guys. Something a little different on the channel. You know, I was just brainstorming, brainstorming some stuff. I put it out on the Discord. So if you guys are over here, you're not going to know what this is all about. But I did put out some ideas on the um on the discord channel just to get a feel of what um they over there would like um videos that i could do that's a little bit off course you know something a little bit more personal that you would like to know about me and and, and to make a video on it um just put a couple of video ideas out there um and they let me know what they would love to see and one of them is this video my top three movies now before we get into that before we get into that this is not by any means saying that these are the best movies ever these are just my favorites and i would love to know what your top three movies of all time is because movies are something that i am planning to start reacting to on this channel and putting them up on the google drive okay um i will be editing them I'm not gonna be putting up the full movie of course i will be be editing them so they're not gonna be full reactions okay so don't hate me for that i'm just not gonna do that <laughs> okay so I, I will be editing so if it's movies that you guys have watched already um if it's movies that you know then you won't mind but if it's movies you haven't seen before I'm not gonna upload the full the full movie, okay? Um, my three favorite movies of all times, my out of all the movies that I have seen, and I've seen a lot of movies. There's movie, there's a lot of movies I haven't seen too. Um, you know, you know, it, it, there's so many movies that are that are bad. <laughs> They're so bad. <laughs> um, I said the the way how I determine my top three is it, it's just basically like. Okay, watchability. How many times have I seen this movie and, you know, determining, like, I can watch it over and over again without getting bored? That's how I determine my 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 favorites, right? More recent movies, like, if I'm going to give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Like, say for, I, I, I enjoyed every single movie in the, in the Marvel franchise, but for some reason, I just cannot watch those movies again <laughs> like i enjoy the movies when they come out you know what without the exception of one of those movies which is iron man 2 iron man 2 i can watch that movie um maybe i would say maybe once a year i could watch that movie because it's one of my favorites in the in in the marvel cinematic universe right i love that movie right i love the villain in Iron Man 2 better than I like the villain in Iron Man 1. In part 2, you know what I'm saying? The villain was a lot more, had a lot more depth to him. I don't want to go into the whole story of Iron Man 2, but you get the point that I'm trying to make. It's all about watchability. Like I, as much as I love Infinity War and Endgame, as much as I love those movies, I, for some reason, I don't even know why I bought it. <laughs> I just bought it as a keepsake, really, you know, just to say I have the movie just in case, you know what I'm saying, later down the line, you know, my kids want to watch it or whatever the situation is. So let's jump into it. So these are in no particular or order, okay? No particular order. I love them all the same. They're just my top three. Anytime these movies, whether they're on TV or if I see them playing somewhere, they always stop me in my tracks because and i always just want to watch them right so let's jump into it so the first movie i'm going to mention is going to be one out of left field that a lot of people probably don't know about this movie right i probably don't know about this movie and this is a walk to remember now yes a walk to remember starring the first i think i think this was i think this is probably the reason why um i love this movie so much is because mandy moore was my first movie crush 
she was my first movie crush she was um ah oh man every time i think about this girl it, it it puts me in a in a little bit of a trance okay so bear with me here i it, you know the first time i saw this movie it was the first movie that ever made me cry and tear up and then I, I think i think it was the next i think the one after that was me myself and irene if you guys have never seen me myself and irene it's a jim carrey movie along with renee zellweger um that movie i i don't know what is it about that movie that made me cry but it didn't make my top three but it is one of my favorite movies of all times too but it, it's not in my top three right but a walk to remember is not necessarily i think you know a lot of people love the notebook right a lot of people love the notebook and i and i can see the love for the notebook it's a very romantic story extremely you know what i'm saying like it's a tearjerker you know but a walk to remember i don't know what it is about maybe it's because i relate to it better because it was a movie set in you know the high school and it was around that time you know because you guys have heard me mention plenty of time before on this channel how much of a hopeless romantic i am and that story is not necessarily in a walk to remember that story is not necessarily about a home hopeless romantic but it is such a an inspiring story of what un unconditional love should be and that's what really got me into that movie because the first time i saw it i mean other than the fact that before i even got to the end of the movie when i found out that she had leukemia like throughout the whole movie i was like man this girl is beautiful man and I was like, why would they try to pick on her like this? So basically, this the story in this movie. And if you have not seen this movie, turn the video off right here because I'm about to spoil some shit. Okay? I'm about to spoil some shit, even though I already spoiled it by telling you guys that she, you know, she ends up having leukemia. Right? So spoiler alert <laughs> again. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. You wouldn't be watching this if you don't want spoilers, okay? Um, so when it comes on to um love this is a perfect portrayal of what i believe love should be um regardless of age you know what i'm saying so basically is these two kids in in in, in high school right she is um basically she's into drama and stuff like that at school and there's this boy right there's this boy that you know he was struggling and stuff like that in school and she was the, she helped him and basically he, he ended up doing a scene with her in drama and stuff like that right and they kissed right and kind of like after that she was trying to avoid him because she basically told him that listen as long as you don't fall in love with me we can be cool right we can be cool so um she was a church going girl and all of this other stuff and i'm just trying to give you guys the gist of the story not really all of it because i still would love if you guys go see this movie for yourself because it's going to really show you what true love is i believe so basically what happened is she um after you know they kiss during the play or whatever the, the you know the theater performance or whatever and basically what happens is that she started to avoid him and you know during that time his friends decided to play a prank on her right and he ended up defending her and then after that he asked her on a date and she kind of like nah nah you, you know if you, if you want to take me on a date you're gonna have to ask my dad the dad eventually approved and boom 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 you know one date leads to another date to another date and then um the leukemia stuff started coming up and you know the treatment that she was receiving wasn't working so she started to die um they ended up getting married as you can see my voice tone start i'm trying to stay upbeat during this because it's a very very it's a love story but it's a, also a very sad story so 
you know, essentially what happens is that at the end, they end up getting married and then she dies. Like she literally like dies, like uh, not too long after they got married, they got to spend some time together and he stood by her side. She, you know what I'm saying? And it was so, it was heartwarming and on, I believe like, you know, some people, there are people in the world that would leave your ass if you got, if you got cancer anyways, I know that there are people out there that's like, that's, it's like, I can't take this, it's too stressful and they'll leave you. But that's what the epitome of what I believe true love should be unconditionals. So yeah, so that's basically what I walk to remember is just the gist of the story it's one of my favorite movies of all time because no matter where no matter how if that movie comes across my eyes i'm sitting there watching the whole damn thing over again no matter what time of day it's just that attention grabbing if i see it somewhere where i can't stay and watch it when i go home i'm gonna watch the movie it's that good right so if you want a good you know love story whatever whatever it's a very good movie to watch so second movie batman the dark knight now a lot of you guys should know this already because i think i talked about this on a live stream before where i told you guys that batman the dark knight is one of my favorite movies of all times why heath ledger's performance in that movie was bone chilling it was Bulls Chillin', one of the best performances that I've seen on screen maybe in my lifetime. You know, I've seen some other ones, you know, there's so many other actors that I love. I and mean, that's probably in another video where I'll name my top three actors, actresses of all times. Um, but that's for another video. But this performance by Heath Ledger, along with Kristen Bale, um along with i think what's your name gyllenhaal maggie i think it is maggie gyllenhaal i'm i'm not i don't remember her name i, I know she's related to jake gyllenhaal um but she was in that movie her performance wasn't as great but um michael jai white was in that movie um he played a gangster per se that had to bow to the to the joker you know but you know if you're gonna remember anything about that movie i'm not gonna talk about it much um the plot i think that's one of the movies that i probably would never spoil for anybody i think if you have not seen batman the dark knight go get that movie right now and watch that movie that movie i think is one of i'm not gonna say in my opinion it's the best superhero movie of all times i dare you to name me one better and don't say avengers endgame because it's just it's not gonna hold up not even infinity war as sad as it was as sad as endgame was it does not match up to the cinematics to everything encompassing that's in batman the dark knight the performance of heath ledger i will i can use his performance alone to tear apart any argument that you may have on any other superhero movie. As I said, I don't think, I, I don't know if it's the best best movie of all time, but if this, this movie, after you watch it, it has to be in your top five, hands down. I know a lot of people, is, you know, gonna be like, it's not in my top five, it's not, not my top three. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if you have not seen Batman the Dark Knight, please, please, I urge you, urge you to go and see that movie, okay, so my third movie and final one is another movie that I, that is very dear to my heart, kind of, kind of you know, and this one is a, it's a comedy drama, it's a comedy drama, I love it because it always tickles me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's when those really outrageous, exaggerated movies were coming out where, you, where, <laughs> where you're like, man, this guy can do anything. You know what I'm saying? They do it in such a way where you know it's a camera trick, but you don't mind. You know, when all, when, you know, 
Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and all those movies was coming out. It was like, people don't move like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was so fascinating to see and cinematic the way how they do the special effects and stuff in those movies that you really just love it. And as much as I love Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, right? This movie just takes the cake for me. It was because it has a story behind it too. Now I'm talking about Shaolin Soccer. <laughs> okay. Shaolin Soccer is in my top three. Why? Because there's a great story behind it. Other than, you know, the exaggerated movements, you, you know, on the, the soccer field or the football field, if you're overseas, it's the same thing. It's just in America, they call it soccer. I love calling it football because I'm not from America, <laughs> you know, because we uh, everybody else knows it as football. It makes sense, right? So um, they decided to call something else football that you play with with your hands mostly, you know, in America. I, I don't know why they do stuff like that. It's, it's to stand out and be different. It's it's weird to me. And they call the actual they call it soccer. Anyways, it's football. Anyway, so. Shaolin Soccer is one of those movies, very inspired movie, if you know about not giving up. Um, and I love this movie because it's a story, it's it's also a romantic story. It's a very funny movie. Um, very funny movie in my eyes. Um, and it's a very, it also showcases a lot of different fighting styles that you would never imagine that would be able to be used on a football field right <laughs> it was just so it was just so good you know and i mean the inspiring story of the the romantic side of it of of the main character and the girl that knows tai chi was like oh my god if they could do tai chi on the field and her pretending to be a guy so that she can become do the goalkeeping at the end of the movie was brilliant i love that you know what I'm saying? Because she was absolutely amazing in the final scenes of the movie. And it's just such an awesome movie. I encourage you guys to check it out. Now, the reason why, probably why I <laughs> I talk so much about the first movie I, is because it's, it's, it's probably my favorite movie of all time. And I, you know, I love that movie so much. And to this day you know maybe i should have made it a goal to actually it's still one of my goals to meet mandy moore in real life i'm not i don't necessarily have a crush on her anymore because i'm a grown-ass man <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that grown people don't have crushes but i'm just saying like i i don't lust after her anymore okay because you know uh i don't lust after her anymore because i know she's a married woman with kids okay so i don't do, i don't do that stuff once i know you're married like it's 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 kind of like out 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 of sight out of mind kind of thing you know so i definitely love that movie very much it's very dear to me um so um if you guys can share your top three movies in the comment section just three three movies okay three movies top three movies doesn't have to be in no order or anything like that also if you want i have a movie suggestion channel that i just started over on the discord so if you are here and you're already over there on the discord server um just go to that channel and leave your suggestions there i promise you guys that i will get to these movies eventually um i'm gonna start doing movie reactions very soon so make sure you go and check those out. So um, if you want, you can go over there, leave the suggestions over there, or you can just leave them in the comment section here. If I see something that I have not watched, I will add it to the, to the list myself. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys like my top three. If you have not seen any of those movies, it's just a suggestion. You don't have to rush to go watch any of them. Um, maybe I'll do reactions to them. Um, maybe it's not a must, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not a, not something that, you know, that I probably would want to do. I would probably want to watch something that I've never watched before. 
um, to put up on the channel. But if you guys want me to watch those movies and to watch me cry my eyeballs out watching the walkthrough, because it always makes me cry no matter how tough I want to act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And as a matter of fact, I have not watched it in a very long time, but it's just so fresh in my mind every, you know, when I talk about it, it's, it's just such a good movie. So thank you guys so much, man, for, for watching this. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. There's more of these videos to come. I'm also going to be dropping Sticks and Stones by Dave Chappelle. That reaction is coming to the channel. Um, I'm maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so all you guys that have been asking about that, um, just look out for it, okay? Still have some more reactions to do today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Terry by React, and I will see you guys next time for some more top threes or whatever. Peace.